Before we start the video, a quick warning, I want each and every one of you to get your helmet on to protect yourself from high temperatures, from getting overly hyped, getting erections and that kind of shit. Get your helmets or pots on because it will help maintain your hype levels, so definitely get that shit on, that's my last warning. And buckle the heck up because we got an official confirmation for DLC 5 aka Chronicles. Oh boy, the hype train is real. We also have a rumor for when can we see the DLC 5 trailer and it's a pretty good one and I cannot wait to discuss that with you guys and there is also a very credible rumor that we could be seeing DLC 6. Now I know what you're thinking, hold on a second, let me finish this video and I'm sure we're going to understand each other and we're gonna get down to everything in this video but hey everybody what the heck is going on, my name is Usman and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing for daily videos like this one and let's kick this off with the confirmation news really really quickly I'm going to insert this piece of information right here I'm not totally sure where exactly in my commentary I will insert this but I just want to let you know that as soon as I got done with my commentary a new piece of information just dropped and my dude summers dude 101 on Twitter yes he's the same guy who helped us debunk and find information from the investor reports and things like that if you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying and if you don't know, hey, it does not matter. All what matters is that DLC 5 is confirmed and it's coming out very, very soon and it's time to get hyped. Now, on systemrequirementslab.com, it's a website where you can actually see if you can run things on PC or not. And uh, on there, there's a listing of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles. And here, the requirements are basically the same for Black Ops 3 and for this DLC. As we can all assume, it's a DLC for Black Ops 3, most likely an expansion pack. So it gives us a lot of PC requirements so you can actually check if you can actually play this on PC or not. And it also says that it needs a free disk space of 60 gigabytes. I mean, that's for PC, but for PS4, it's most likely going to be about the same, somewhere between 40 and 60 gigabytes. So I thought I will add this in here, but coming back now. Let's kick this off with the confirmation news. So I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about this because it spread like a wildfire early this morning and I, I had to sit down and goddamn breathe but some of you may have missed it and I want to add my two cents in it. So we got a confirmation that Chronicles aka DLC5 is confirmed. Now this is by far the biggest credible confirmation we got. It's coming from ESRB and even Charlie until tweeted that shit out. Basically Chronicles got the mature rating and of course we know what that means it's for mature uh, heck no it means it's confirmed and Chronicles is real it's their ESRB is categorizing this for mature audience and this was also taken down and it could mean two things either this was a very big mistake or Activision told them to take it down now I don't buy the idea of this being a mistake because when a company big like ESRB puts something on of course they will exchange official word with the company itself first and they will plan out when to release that publicly and I really do you believe this was on purpose like all other leaks rumors teasers you know what I'm saying and I, I really do believe this was on purpose that they let this out wait for people to catch up and then they have taken this down I really don't buy the idea that this was a mistake also the description is about black ops 3 games so nothing new there and this tells us that the pre-order listing that we had at mix up store in Mexico was real and Wes pre-ordered that shit right and it was a black ops 3 plus DLC plus Chronicles Edition all bundled together. So of course it will use Black Ops 3 descriptions and retailers won't jeopardize their store for a single piece of DLC and he put down like 79 pesos which is equal to $5 if you get what I'm saying. We have mountain of evidence from weeks and months that DLC 5 is coming and perhaps we are very close to see the trailer. Now this is going to be all rumors and speculation now. DLC 5 is real and it is coming but we do not know when the trailer will be released. I've been hearing things and I would assume it will release very soon because ESRB have this info and I'm assuming tomorrow can be it. Tomorrow it's Tuesday. I heard people were playtesting DLC 5 for Black Ops 3 and DLC 3 for Infinite Warfare. I can only imagine people that are playing DLC 5 versus people that are playing DLC 3 for Infinite Warfare. May Lord have mercy on their souls. Now take a second to drop F in the chat and pay respects and uh, I've been hearing that last week they were beta testing and this 
this week some YouTubers are flying out to your Treyarch. So tomorrow or this week is a very high possibility. But if it doesn't happen this week, it will surely happen in two to three weeks time. And I want to talk about the release date now and what exactly is DLC 6. Now, there is no such thing as DLC 5 or DLC 6. We just say it because we already have gotten four DLCs and if we were to get a new DLC, it will be the fifth DLC aka DLC 5. And of course, Trek will give it a name and Chronicles is what it is. And it will have eight remastered zombies map which is nuts and the whole bundle is meant to release on June 27th. Now, the rumor is that Chronicles will be a split into two DLC packs. The first part will come out on May 9th and that is around the corner and tomorrow will be the trailer release. Of course, it's a rumor. If I have to take a guess, I would say May 16th or the week after that, but May 9th works as there has been so many leaks already and we're going to get the second part on June 27th and the first part of Chronicles will have four maps and the second one will have four more and I guess we can all agree that we want eight maps for sure, but getting all of them together will be a little overwhelming and if we were to get a split, it will keep the hype and it will be really damn good for the community and I want to hear your thoughts in the comments right now but if you have enjoyed this video smash a like and subscribe if you're new and all I gotta say is get hyped man get hyped